G'day guys, welcome to Spacey's Arcade and what was those animated back glasses that you just witnessed? Yes guys, these are fully animated back glasses, a whole stack of them covering a whole range of pinball tables and they've been actually designed for the front end of your virtual pinball machine uh, but it doesn't stop there there's other animations that go beyond just the back glass which we'll get to guys some of you may have seen some of these early back glasses get released years ago by a guy named Sean who was the creator of them and he's uh, creating these now uh, under the name of Cabs and he released a couple of almost like teasers uh, over six years ago now guys and the people that saw them knew that this was something pretty special to put on a front end of any virtual pinball cab and guys we're so fortunate when we have our virtual pinball it's digital and that's the one big win we have over a physical pinball machine because we can do anything with digital and we can bring to life what was normally static and in this case if you think of all the really cool static artwork that's in so many pinball machines bringing that stuff and animating it and 
making it alive, guys, is it is really special. And so from back then when those original free ones came out, Sean has then gone away and has been busy for almost six years. <laughs> it's an astounding amount of time. And in that time, guys, he's been creating and creating and creating all for the purpose of being able to get this out into the pinball community. And of course, so far, this has not been able to be achieved. And I'll talk about why that is very briefly a bit, a bit later on. Um, but it's really important that you guys actually participate by commenting in this video if you want to see these animations get out into the community in the appropriate way. So that may sound a little cryptic. <laughs> we'll make a little bit more on that soon, but let's just focus in on what is in front of us, guys, to understand what we all could be enjoying, because it's nothing short of astounding. You've so right at the start, there's so many um, back glasses. I purposely put on some soft music there so that you, and so you could just sit and just absorb it in. Now, if you go over to Sean's website, uh, over to his YouTube uh, channel rather, and check out all his content showing all these tables, he's got some pretty hard hitting, fast action videos on what he's done. Guys, I had to slow it down and put some nice quiet music on there for you guys just to sit and admire it because the, the biggest thing with his animations is there's so much going on that you have to just stare at it. So even in the background as I've been talking, if you've been watching, you can see so many little nuances to the animations. It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. And again, why would you want this? Well, not only for the back glass, but some other areas of your pin cabinet we'll look at in a moment. You have all this set up. Uh, guys, you can sit back and, you know, have a beer on your stool in your games room or just your single V-pin in your room. Even if you don't have a V-pin, even just your monitor sitting on the, the desk, admire and enjoy the artwork as entertainment. It's like, it's that good. Um, I could just sit and stare at it for hours. So let's, let's get in and just have a look now at Medieval Madness. And just, it's not a stop a minute, guys. Just look what is going on. And this. Now remember, this this has come from a static, completely static, from the original artwork of the Medieval Madness table. And now it's just been transformed into this live back glass. You know, this is not like an animated B2S server back glass with a few little lights and stuff when you're playing pinball, guys. This is just fully alive artwork. You go up and look in the top corner, there's a cow jumping over the moon. There's all sorts of particle effects going on. You've got the saucer from Attack from Mars. Um, you come down the side and you've got, there's a little poster there. Um, and you, you can put your own face in this. I mean, he's got these options. Sean's got options to customize, which we'll talk about in a moment, even further the animation to be more personalized for yourself. You know, the dude in the, in, the, in the middle here with a sword and the trolls behind, They're blowing off some smoke. There's a some sort of beast in the river underneath the drawbridge. It's fire, the dragon shooting fire as well. And then there's just so many little things. And of course the arrows flying around. It's a, it's, it's a work of art, <laughs> clearly. And it's incredible. I just, it blows me away. Now, the thing is, guys, is, as I said, it doesn't actually stop at just these back glass animations. So if we look here, we can actually see now an extended animation into the DMD itself. And here we've got a beautiful color DMD and also an orange matrix. So sort of showing the difference between the two. And there's also a color matrix one as well. And then with the speakers, you've got this fire going on. You've got the logo 
spitting around as well uh, and movement. And so we're starting to see more than just the back glass guys. And then here we have some customization in terms of putting your own name up at the top, having a signature title, having an avatar uh, icon embedded into the back glass, swapping out your face on the, on the poster on this particular one and having some sort of little name um, or caption that you can try and find on your on your back glass or get other people to find as part of a sort of little name game thing. He's got all these features, guys, that he's thought about and added for every single table that he's done. And then we get down here to the play field. And, you know, rather than just having a static table or even just a video table of the, the game playing, here you've got all these extra... Uh, animations and artwork to just make your front end for your virtual pinball machine pop guys <laughs> and you know I'm not doing this for any other reason than my love of artwork and my love for just extending the experience when it comes to virtual pinball guys and this is what the community should be able to enjoy the community could enjoy it. The art is done. It's years in the making, guys. It needs to get out there. And again, we'll touch on how that may happen and how you can help participate in making that happen. Outside of that, guys, he's also gone further. And you can see here we've got different styles of just a normal virtual pin cab or a upright vertical pin cab. And he's created art individually for the two different form factors as well. <laughs> you think it, he'd done enough just uh, with the main V-cab. Those vertical pin cab guys are just so sweet. And then for every single cabinet that he has done, he's providing all of those options, multiple different types of speaker grill setups, including there's a full DMD with extra animations around the top as well and just different sizes and, and so forth or well, whatever you know you want to do with your own cabinet and what suits your cabinet best and what you'd like to enjoy um, and as we flick through this or oh, you can see the animations flicking through in the background there in terms of the tables that are available there are so many that have been done there's so much work guys that have already been done across all of this art you just think about all the art all the options and it's actually done and i know the disclaimer at the front front says like this is a dream this is not a product if you look at what's in front of you guys and i'm telling you right now in relation to you know what's been done there is a massive amount of content here that could easily be a product the dream could easily be realized and in fact it gets down to almost just pushing one green button for this all to just be available because it's done <laughs> it's just madness right? it's madness because you look at this and you just go well greg why why just just sean just get it out there right so when we look just while we're talking here as well in relation to this attack from Mars, look how beautiful this is with the, the DMD and the sources. So yeah, let's let's talk uh, quickly about why it's not out there at the moment. The obvious elephant in the room is that every table you've seen so far is uh, Williams related. Of course, there's going to be intellectual property guys here tied up in that. Um, this is transformative artwork, mind you. Uh, however, I would suggest that there are certain individuals and there are certain organisations in the virtual pinball scene. People that make software, pinball software, people that make pinball hardware. And it's those people that actually hold the keys for this to get out to the community, guys. And... I can't say much more than that other than those are the facts and if we want to get this out we need to be able to show some support for what Sean is doing here um, and that is just by 
by commenting guys commenting in this video make sure you comment below and say you want this if you like it you like what you see just say you want it i just need to show the people that are in control of that green button that there is interest in this fantastic beautiful art and why wouldn't there be interest in it quite frankly it just blows my mind but it's important guys that you do comment like share this video for the purpose of getting this message out the more that this gets shared and commented it should hopefully show up in the right places so that the right people can have the right discussions and get that big green button push guys so that we can enjoy this stuff because it's just a crime it's a crime that all of this awesome work across so many tables is just not out there there's other things that we can do with this too guys and I might touch on this on another video especially for your VR guys I'm going to get some of this into EMU VR oh yeah and that's a beautiful use case for this sort of artwork uh, especially when you can't do real VR pinball in EMU VR but that's a topic for another day for now get commenting guys show your support for this because uh, this is you've got to experience it you've got to have this and um, I think that's all I'm going to say on it there are so many more videos over in Sean's uh, YouTube channel definitely go there definitely comment on his YouTube channel as well show him the love and the support that he deserves for what he's done here and also of course share it anywhere else where you think it might get the eyes and the ears of the appropriate people that will allow this out into the community in one way shape or the other all right guys i'm going to leave it there um, i hope you do see the potential of this and this is what digital pinball is all about going forward this would be a sensational marketing angle for those individuals that can press those green buttons for this can you imagine this on a on a release of a hardware pinball virtual pinball machine um, in a pinball expo i mean this guys this just screams quality it just brings eyes to the product it's a no-brainer for me let's just hope they can make it happen that's all i'm going to say on the matter look forward to seeing you in the next video until then Ciao for now.